What's up guys, my name's Josh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on a 2009 Toyota Tacoma and we're gonna replace the front brake pads. It's a pretty easy job, but you need a little bit of know-how. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and go ahead and share it with your friends. Let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is lift the truck and put it up on jack stands. You can see here how they're mounted just underneath the frame. Next, take the cap off the brake fluid reservoir on top of the engine. Now we can remove the wheel. Here I'm using a pneumatic air wrench to unlock the lug nuts. Now simply lift up on the wheel to remove it. And roll it away. Leaving the key in the ignition and the on position, turn the wheel assembly so that you can see the brake calipers. As you can see, I placed a cardboard box underneath the wheel assembly to catch any parts and dust. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, pull the springs out of the end of the pins that are holding the brake pads in place. Once the springs have been removed, push the pins and pull them out of the caliber. Once the pins have been removed, remove this spring and watch out, it flies off if you're not careful. Next, undo the mount holding the brake hose in place. Pull the mount off and set it aside. Now it's time to install the brake bleeder kit. First pull the cap off of the caliper. Now mount the hose onto the nipple. Using a wrench, unscrew the nipple. Unscrewing this nipple will allow the brake fluid to come out as the caliper pistons compressed, which will allow us to remove the brake pads. Now we can remove the 17mm caliper bolts. There's two, one on top and one on bottom. With a little bit of jiggling, the brake pads should now come out. There are two shims that we'll want to keep. There's two on each brake pad. We're going to clean these up and reuse them. Setting the shims aside, I'm going to use this brake pad as a spacer so that I can push the pistons in. Take a screwdriver and use it as leverage to push the pistons back inside the caliper. Brake fluid will come out and go into the reservoir of the bleeding kit. Once the pistons have been pushed back all the way, go ahead and tighten down the bleeder nipple. Now remove the bleeding kit reservoir. Go ahead and install the nipple cover just to make sure no dust gets inside. Wipe off and clean any excess brake fluid. Now remove both of the brake pads. Remove the brake caliper by pulling the bolts out. Carefully set it aside, making sure not to let it hang by the brake hose. Straighten out the wheel assembly so that we can remove the brake rotor. A few swift taps with a metal hammer should break the brake rotor free. Once 
Once the rotor is free, mark one of the lugs in the same spot on the rotor so you can put it back the way it was removed. Gently pull the rotor off and set it aside. Turn the wheel assembly so that we can temporarily reinstall the brake caliper. Spray the wheel assembly with brake cleaner and wipe it all down. Once you've had your rotors turned at your local auto parts store, reinstall making sure to line up the marks that you made earlier. Now it's time to remount the brake caliper. Hold the rotor in place while mounting the caliper. Reinstall the bolts by hand to make sure you don't cross thread. Using a torque wrench, torque down the caliper bolts to 91 foot-pounds. The new brake pads have wear indicators on them just like this. They mount inward facing the rotor. Now we'll reinstall these shims. The one with all the slots in it goes first. Now we'll put some brake grease on the back of these shims to make sure the brakes don't squeak. Install the brake pad being careful not to get any grease on the brake rotor. Now do the same thing to the other brake pad. Reinstall the two brake pins. It shouldn't be too hard, you might have to move the brake pads around a little bit to get them to slide in. Make sure you install the lower spring before you install the lower pin. Now reinstall the springs that hold the pins into the brake caliper. Next we'll reattach the brake hose mount. Now we'll straighten the wheel assembly out so we can mount the wheel. A little test spin to make sure everything is moving freely. And now to mount the wheel. You might have to put your foot underneath it a little bit to raise it up so it'll match up with the lugs. Now we can reinstall the lug nuts. Go ahead and tighten them by hand so you don't cross thread them. Using a torque wrench, torque the wheel down to 85 foot-pounds. Tighten it down in a star pattern.
Well, that project wasn't too hard. If you like what you saw today, hit like, hit subscribe, and share with your friends. And check out these other videos in the playlist. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> What's up, guys? If you like what you see today, hit like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Well, yeah. And come back to see. Share with your friends and let them know about this channel. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs>